Have you ever wanted to supercharge your AI agents in N8N and connect them to any tool or API without complex HTTP requests? Well, that's exactly what MCP, Model Context Protocol, allows you to do. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to install MCP servers, set them up, and execute tools dynamically without the headache of API documentation. MCP is a standardized protocol that allows AI agents like ChatGPT and Claude to connect to business tools, retrieve data, and take actions, all in a unified and simplified way. Instead of configuring separate APIs for every tool, MCP gives us one standard way to connect tools like Google Calendar, Brave Search, GitHub, Slack, and even N8N itself. First, we need to install the MCP node inside N8N. Go to Settings in N8N. Click on Community Nodes, Install. Search for N8N Nodes MCP and hit Install. That's it. You've now enabled MCP inside N8N. You need to enable tool execution inside N8N's environment variables. As you know, I use ls.io to host my N8N. Here you go to Services. Then click on Update Config. Add this line to your .env file. N, 8, N community packages allow tool usage colon true. Then, click Update and Restart. The server will take a few seconds to restart. Now let's install the Brave Search MCP server. To set up the Brave Search MCP server, open your terminal or SSH into your self-hosted N8N server. Then run the following command. npm-v. This will check if we have npm installed. In my case, it is installed. If you do not have it installed, run the following command. sudo apt install nodes npm. Now use the following command to install the MCP server. npm install dash g at model context protocol slash server dash brave dash search. This will globally install the Brave Search MCP server, which acts as a bridge between N8N and the Brave Search API. Now that the MCP server is installed, let's create an N8N workflow that uses it. As you can see, I have a chat node and an AI agent. I will use the OpenAI chat model. And then for the MCP server, I have two nodes, a list tools and an execute tool. Let's set up first the list tools. For this, you need to create a new credential in N8N for the Brave Search API. In the command field, enter npx. In the arguments field, enter the following command, dash y at model context protocol slash slash server dash brave dash search. In the environment variables section, add brave API key equals, and then your API key. Once done, save your credentials and proceed with using the MCP node in your workflows. Instead of manually selecting a tool, we're making the AI fully dynamic by first listing the available tools and then executing the best one based on the user's query. The Brave Search MCP server has only two tools, Brave Web Search and Brave Local Search. However, if you look at the Gmail MCP server, it has seven tools, making it much more versatile. Using an MCP server is far more efficient then creating a separate workflow for each API endpoint, as it allows you to dynamically access and execute different tools within a single automation. At this stage, you've successfully set up MCP list tools and dynamically selected the best tool based on the user query. Now let's walk through how the Brave Execute tool node is configured and how to ensure it works correctly. For the credentials, make sure to use the ones you previously set up. Set the tool description to automatically, and for the operation, select execute tool. Now, for the tool name and tool parameters, I'll configure them to be dynamically retrieved from the AI, ensuring that the system selects the best tool and passes the correct parameters automatically. Let's test our MCP automation inside N8N. I've set up a chat trigger, and I want to see if the AI agent can correctly process my request and fetch real-time results. I'll start by sending a simple query, latest AI news. The AI should recognize the request, check the available tools, and determine the best one for the job. Since we're searching for news, it should automatically select the Brave Search MCP server and execute a web search. 
Once the tool is triggered, the search should return a structured response, displaying the most recent AI-related news articles. No manual API requests, no complicated setup, just a seamless integration between AI and real-world data. This is the power of combining AI agents with MCP in N8N. Now, I will show you how to integrate Firecrawl Web Scraping as an MCP server inside N8N. First, you need to open ls.io, access the terminal, and run the following command, npm install g at mendable ai slash mcp server firecrawl. Once installed, go back to N8N and add two new MCP nodes. One is the Firecrawl List Tools node, and the other is the Firecrawl Execute Tool node. Now, let's configure the Firecrawl List Tools node. The most important setting here is adding a new credential. Just like before, you need to specify the command, arguments, and environment variables. Make sure to include the Firecrawl API key like this. Firecrawl API key equals your API key. After adding the key, click Save to store the credentials. Next, let's configure the Firecrawl Execute tool. The setup is almost identical to the Brave Search MCP server, but with a different credential. Make sure you select the right credentials to allow execution. Now, an important step, modifying the AI prompt. Since we've added Firecrawl, the AI needs to understand when to use it. Check how I've written the prompt to ensure that Firecrawl is included in the decision-making process. All right, let's test if this MCP integration is working properly. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet, I recently launched a website, automationtribe.com. Let me quickly show you how it looks. On this website, you can also get access to one of these automations simply by subscribing to the newsletter. And don't worry, I will only send automations when I release a new one. No spam, just value. Now, let's put Firecrawl to the test. I'll use the scrape tool to see if it can find my email address from my website. I'm starting a new chat and entering the command, scrape the website automationtribe.com and find me the email of the owner. Now, let's see if Firecrawl returns the correct email address. And there it is. The email's correct, which means that from now on, these tools can be used to scrape and extract contact information from any website. I want to show you another great example of how we can use automation to extract and analyze real-world data. I run a paid community called Automation Tribe on school.com, where members get access to automation training and all my exclusive workflows. Here's the link. The membership costs $59 per month, and so far, we have 34 amazing members who are eager to learn and automate their workflows. Now, let's put automation to the test. I'm opening a new chat and entering the following command. Scrape the community HTTPS www.school.com automation tribe about and tell me how much revenue it generates per month. Let's see if the automation can correctly calculate the monthly earnings. As you can see, the result is correct, and this opens up exciting possibilities for new automations. I have some awesome ideas coming soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more automation content. See you in the next one.